My name is Todd Gooch, and my book is How to Draw Molecules Using Gooch Structures Compilation Artwork B. But it could just as easily have been called How to Draw Molecules Without Using Molecular Orbital Theory or Hybridization. Lewis structures represent carbon this way, with an electron dot diagram showing four electrons. Gravitational unit theory, unified field theory way of representing carbon is through vector bonding, which shows far more detail in the atom. In the standard model Lewis structures, if you want to add a carbon, or a hydrogen, I mean, you add it this way, as one bonding site. But over here, have two bonding sites, a key and a keyhole. The object is to fit keys into keyholes to make molecules. Uh, for instance, methane. <clears throat> a single bond between two carbon atoms is represented this way. is so that the bond angles remain the same as if you were drawing the Lewis structure for, in this case, ethane. However, when it comes to benzene, standard model Lewis structures fail to represent the model the molecule correctly. They represent benzene in this manner. They're alternating single and double bonds because that's all they've got are single and double bonds. So <clears throat> they represent benzene this way. And then I have a hybrid structure with it. which the actual structure, which has been found by experiment, to the equal energies on each one of the carbon to carbon bonds. <clears throat> what, they did, what they did to rationalize their observations was to come up with this convention of a hexagon with a circle inside, which isn't contained within the arcane of Lewis single, double, and triple bonds and is not u consistent use of symbolism in the rendering of this molecule. The gravitational unit theory, unified field theory, carbon, in this situation when rendering benzene, is a one and a half bond, which I'm the first person to ever theorize the one and a half bond show the equal energies on each of the carbon to carbon bonds. This shows the electronic flow through the molecule far better than any Lewis structure or electron dot diagram. It takes a little bit longer to draw them, but you get the right molecule at the end without having to use any hybrid structures, and it shows all equal energies on each of the bonds. Then you add your hydrogens.
And there you have it, benzene showing equal energies on each one of the carbon to carbon bonds. My name's Todd Gooch. My book is How to Draw Molecules Using Gooch Structures Compilation Artwork B, or alternately, How to Draw Molecules Without Using Molecular Orbital Theory or Hybridization. I can be found at gravitationalunittheory.com, or you may find my books on amazon.com. Thank you very much.